Welcome back, Intentional Online family. Um, today's topic is can men and women wear hats in church? So we're going to talk about it. You know, I know that can be, uh, I ain't going to say it's controversial, but, you know, I know you probably maybe go to church with somebody, maybe somebody that's praying and they are male wearing hats, or if they're a woman, they're not wearing something covering their head, and you want to know what does the scripture say. And we're going to talk about that today. Uh, we're going to be in uh, 1 Corinthians, um, verse, I mean, chapter 11, 1 Corinthians, um, chapter 11. We're going to be going from verse 1 through 16, coming out the NIV. Um, and we're just going to begin reading. This is Paul talking. Um, in verse 1, it says, follow my example. As I have followed the example of Christ. Um, verse 2 says, I praise you for remembering me in everything and for holding to the tradition just as I pass them on to you. But I want to realize that the head of every man is Christ. You hear that part? The head of every man is Christ and the head of the woman is is man. I didn't say it. The Bible said it. And the head of, of the woman is man and the head of Christ is God. Verse four says, and this is what we're going to get into talking about the male figure. It says in verse four, and I hope you're following along. This is what the Bible is saying. So please follow along if you can, because I don't want you to think I just make this up. And this is, I'm just reading out of my own version. This is the Bible. And it says, verse four says, every man who prays or prophesies with his head cover dishonors his head. Now, the Bible didn't say it was a sin for a man to cover his head, but it did say he dishonors his head. Amen. And now maybe you probably like, well, I go to people, I go to church with people and worship leaders and, and or people wear hats to church. It's fine to wear a hat to church as a male. Now, if you're coming into the building and are you coming into the sanctuary and you're wearing a hat, it's fine as a male. But whenever you begin to pray as a male or begin to prophesy, it's important for the man to what uncovers his head because when his head is covered he dishonors his head didn't say it was a sin now you might say man i see some worship leaders or uh, people that um lead worship and man they powerful and, and they be praying for people and and they got their head covered as a man now, you might say, well, God is using them. I'm not saying that God is not using them. I'm not saying the Bible never said it was a sin. It said it dishonors his head. I want to read that verse again, verse 4. It said, every man who prays or prophesies with his head cover, the last part said, dishonors his head. So the Bible is just clearly saying the man dishonors his head. Now, when most time when you go to certain places or, or like nowadays, when you say if you still say the Pledge of Allegiance, you go to a ball game or you in military or something, some some things they take their hat off for out of respect. Now, you get in the place of praying and you got men that's praying and prophesying over people and they clearly must have not read this scripture in Corinthians. Now I'm just here to as a messenger just want to encourage somebody that hey there's nothing wrong with it's not a sin but you do dishonor your head and so for somebody that's probably come to church and I'm not talking about a first time person that don't know God, they just come to church and they're praying and they don't even know. But we're talking about people that are supposedly supposed to be mature in the word. We're talking about people that are saying that mature, that they're, they're past the, the babe stage in Christ, that they're mature in Christ. These are the things that you should know. So you should know that this this dishonor your head. Amen. So um, and I don't want to stay on the man too long. I don't want to stay. I know 
you males, I know you, you, you probably like, oh, I like to wear my hat. It's nothing wrong with wearing your hat to church or wearing it uh, to the building or wearing it to the sanctuary. But when you begin to worship, it's hard for me to understand that you're not praying when you worship. You know, because when you worship, you should be also praying, too. So it, it dishonors the head if you're worshiping, if you're praying, and if you're worshiping and you're not praying. I don't I'm, I don't understand because most time you're probably when you worship and you're praying, you're asking God for things or you're praying for somebody while you're worshiping. So you dishonor your head when it's covered. If you are male. Amen. Now, let's get to the woman. And we got a little bit to get to the woman. And we're going we're gonna to learn a little bit about the woman when she covers her head. And, and what does the Bible say about it? So let's, let's look at verse 5. It says, but every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered. And it's, the Bible said uncovered. Let's, let's read that part again. This is Paul saying, but every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncover dishonors her head it is the same as her it is the same as having her head shaved now for the women i know you're probably like so that means i have to wear a hat all the time or i need to wear a cloth on my head when i pray or prophesy but i'm going to help you women because the scripture you gotta stay with me please stay with me don't cut don't don't stop the podcast don't stop the video right now please don't do that Let's 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 read on some more because you women are probably asking like, so that means I have to have my head covered all the time when I pray and prophesy and when I'm worshiping. But I want you to understand this is what the scripture say, and I want you to understand that's more for you guys. So I want I want I want you to, I want you to stay around. I got a few I got a, about a few more scriptures to, to read, and you're gonna understand it a little bit more clear. Okay. Verse 6 says, for if a woman does not cover her head, she might as well have her hair cut off. But it, if it but if it is disgrace for a woman to have hair cut off or her head shaved, then she should cover her head. Verse 7, a man ought not to cover his head since he is the image. Uh-huh. Back to the man. A man ought not to cover his head since he is the image and glory of God. But woman is the glory of man. Verse 8 says, For man did not come from woman, but woman from man. Verse 9, Neither was man created for woman, but woman for man. Now, in some of these scriptures, I should stay on a little bit longer, but I, I want to get to the point of the, the topic. I want to get to the point of the topic. It is, it is for the reason that a woman ought to have authority over her own head because of the angels. Nevertheless, in the Lord, woman is not independent of man, nor is man independent of woman. Now, I want to talk a little bit about that, but I'm probably going to talk more about that next week. So make sure you come back to next week Bible study because I want to probably uh, uh, talk a little bit about the independent woman, the independent man, and what does the scripture say about that. So please come back next week for that part. But verse 12 says, for as woman came from man, so also man is born of woman. But everything comes from God, the scripture. Amen. Verse 13 says, judge for yourself. This is Paul saying, judge for yourself. It, is it proper? Is it proper? This is a question. Is it proper for a woman to pray to God with her head uncovered? He asked the question, is it proper? For a woman to pray to God with her head uncovered. Stop right there, woman. Don't please. I mean, stop right there, lady. Stop right there. Don't don't cut the video off. Don't stop the podcast. It's not over. I, I want I want to help you because this is not what you think it is. This is not an attack. This is not. I'm finna I'm finna help you just a little bit. Just a little bit. Verse fourteen says, "Does not the very nature of things teach you?" That if a man has long hair, now if a man has long hair, it is a disgrace to him. Not a sin for a man to have long hair, but it is a disgrace. This is, it is a disgrace. This is the Bible, this disgrace to him. It is a disgrace to him to have long hair. 
Verse 15 says, but that if a woman has long hair, it is her glory. Ask the question. The next part of the verse says, for long hair. Mm, so, so ladies, listen to me. For long hair is given to her as a covering. So what that means. So when we was reading about verse um, verse five, when it says, but every woman who prays or prophesy with her head uncovered dishonors her head. So you would probably say, well, she should wear a hat. Uh, she should wear a cloth when she prays. Yes. But if she does not wear those things, as long as she has long hair, and that doesn't mean you got to have long hair all the way to your back or all the way to your butt or all the way back here. Long hair is long hair. Well, it's, it's just like right here or something. It's, it's a covering. Now, some people have this idea that it got to be way down to your ankles. You know, people think, you know, you have those people believe in that, that you have to have long hair way to your back. But long hair is long hair. My hair is short hair. You see my hair? If you're watching the video, you see my hair. My hair is short. This is short hair. But a long hair is, you know, a decent size, you know. Um, and, you know, you got women that wear extensions. You got women that wear wig. Those things are part of covering. For long hair is given to her as a covering. So when a woman wears long hair, now she's not, you might see a woman say, oh, she's not wearing a hat when she prays. She's not wearing a cloth over her head when she prays. But her hair is long enough. So it represents her, her covering. So ladies. What does, what does that mean? You don't have to wear a hat if you don't want to, but as long as your hair is long enough and it can represent your covering when you pray. Now, if you're a lady that has very short hair, it is dishonor to pray and prophesy. It's not, it's not, it's, it's okay to, to have short hair. But when you do pray and prophesy, it's it's honor to cover your hair. You know, cover, you know, if you have short hair. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So don't come at me. Don't email me. You can email me questions at weareintentional at gmail.com. I will be glad to answer your question. But let's finish the last scripture that we was going to read. And it says in verse 16, and this is Paul saying, if anyone wants to be contentious, because Paul's like, I know somebody's going to disagree with this. Contentious just means somebody's going to disagree, argue with this. But he said, if anyone wants to be contentious about this, we have no other practice. We have no other way. This is what Paul was saying. We have no other practice. This is it. Nor do the churches of God. That was plural. Churches of God. So if you're saying you're a church of God, and I'm not talking about the denomination, but church of God. If you're saying that you're teaching the word of God, church of God, we have no other practice, Paul is saying. So this is it. For a man that covered his head with a hat while he prays and while he prophesied, he dishonors his head. A woman that has her head uncovered. But as long as she has a, a, a decent side hair, long hair, I, doesn't mean long way down here, but long enough, it can be here, it's long, as long as you represent as a covering. Or if she wants to wear a hat or a cloth over her head to cover her head while she prays and prophesies, that's fine. She's not dishonoring her head. Amen? So the question is, you have to ask yourself, are you dishonoring your head? Amen. I pray that I'll see you next time. I pray that you will uh, send me an email. Let me know your thoughts at weareattention at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. See you next time.